And, you know, obviously this kind of thing ain't only America. I mean, like Europe and other countries like India just got, uh, didn't get Fallout 3. I mean, they didn't even try to release it. They just said no. And, I mean, I can understand what the, the reason behind that is, but... And, uh, and India ain't America, and I, I don't know exactly, like, I don't know exactly how open with kind of religious, makey fun joke things they are, but they probably ain't as open as, like, America is with that kind of crap. So, I mean, I can understand the scene, but, you know, I, I, I'm I pretty sure, I think there's a fan for everything somewhere. Somebody wants to play that game in their country. And, you know, even if there was just one person in India who was accepting for the fact... I mean, come on, it's a nuclear apocalypse. It's not like they had any control over the cows having mutated and shit. And, of course, shooting them is up to the point. I mean, it's like GTA 3. You can go and mortal people. Or, you. I mean, I know, like, most of the GTA games, you didn't have a lot of just... Which is one reason I like, like Grand Theft Auto 4. You can rub in people's faces like, well, you don't have to be a bad guy. You can be a pretty honorable guy and defend people and shit. But... It always puts a tear to my eyes to think there's a fan somewhere who doesn't have this game that he really wants. And his only few choices are to either be legal about it or spend fucking more money to legally play it. I mean... I mean, some system like Sega Saturn had an excellent uh, cartridge thing that allowed you to play other region, and that works great. But you know, like the PS2 doesn't have very simplest. The simplest thing I ever read for a PS2 was the swap trick thing with the magic discard thing, which isn't a hundred percent guaranteed to work with all games, so that was actually the reason I just went and got a Japanese PS two. And like the Xbox has none that I know of. <sighs> Damn big black box of crap. You know, it's actually kinda sad. I own more original Xbox games. But, you know, even though I own more, I didn't necessarily enjoy all of them. I mean, like, the few... The few old GameCube games I have, I enjoyed a lot more. And... I don't know. It's just... This whole region protection shit just pisses me off, and I just don't get why companies want to keep enforcing it. I mean... You have your own kind of CD coding system. If the bootleggers or somehow getting around the code or joining the code on their copied CDs, then, I mean, what are you going to do about it? Why do you necessarily have to lock regions, though? Why? I mean, it don't make sense. Think about it. Think, seriously, think about it. I mean, okay, let's say piracy and fuckers in America. They go and pirate the CD of the American portion. So it's pirated. What did they do? What did they accomplish? What did they accomplish? Nothing. What did the region protection do? Did, did it protect the game? No. It was still copied in piracy. What is the point of stopping people from buying your fucking games? I mean, imagine... <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of importers these days. I mean, not as me as the mainstream customers that probably buy all the fucking wee crap making it high, but this is a decent number. I mean, look at Oidon. Oidon, the musical dancing cheerleader game thing where you try to cheer people in whatever task they're doing. That game sold tons of America. Actually, so many, well, Nintendo America actually noticed and actually asked them if they could lease the game in America. And, you know, the company and them kind of went in the agreement that it was too Japanese and that, that led to the birth of elite beat agents, which 
Sadly, it didn't live up too much to it. I mean, the gameplay was the same, and they added some new old features, like different endings and things, which we'll implement in the sequel, but... <clears throat> And, you know, that was a golden moment. It's like, Nintendo's actually noticing things again. And then it just went back to this piss-poor shit. I mean... I don't know what Nintendo thinks these days. And I don't know what they, they think they're doing. I'm losing hope in Nintendo having any idea of what they're doing. I think that was, like, one of the last intelligent things they ever did. Oh, I don't know. DS is about the only thing Nintendo is still doing all right. But the Wii, in my opinion, for America, is going downhill. There are top-notch titles that are being ignored. I mean, seriously. I understand you're making a fortune off casual gaming. I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But why aren't you pleasing your original fans? What about the fuckers like me who went and bought a damn GameCube? Uh, I mean, we stuck with you during the GameCube, and now you just want to fuck us over? I mean, the GameCube was considered more of a hardcore system with, uh, like, casual play. I mean, like... Uh, I mean, it was considered... Very bad out of the three. I mean, I hated the ex the original Xbox, but the original Xbox was considered much better seller than the GameCube. I mean, Halo and all that shit. I, 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 I'm not getting in that crap, but my, my point is, how can you do this? Your fans. Your fans want to buy this crap. I want to get disasters. I don't care what a bunch of fucking European reviewers say. And I'm not saying anything bad about Europeans. What I'm saying is, I don't care about other people's opinions. They can say it's bad or good. You know, like, I liked fucking Monster Madness for the 360. It was a nice arcade co-op game. And at the time, you know... But it's like, there's lots of games that don't even cooperate co-op. I mean, look at the Call of Duty... It took them their fifth entry, and, I mean, I think there were two other spin-offs, like, expect things for Call of Duty 1 and 2 that I'm not even counting, and it's like, it took them the fifth main game to finally incorporate co-op. I think it should be outlawed to make a World War II game without fucking co-op. I mean, what the hell? But, I'm digressing, I, I know, I've dwelled off to other topics during this rant. <sighs> but, you know, what is Nintendo going to do? Are they going to just focus on this casual gaming thing? I mean, why can't they focus on both? I mean, they are making tons of money. Why not donate a little of it back to the fans, at least in crap they might actually care about? I mean, I don't get me wrong, they're all casual games I liked. I liked the we play we sports. And, um... <sighs> but, I, I mean... There's a lot of shitty company like the carnival games and it's like <laughs> what the hell I, like I remember there's a lot of people currently like making fun of like you know the Nintendo seal of quality it's like uh, you know actually oh no this is, for a second I like thought it wasn't on the one case I was looking at but this lands is probably gone long enough, and I think everyone gets the point, really. I'm... I used to rank the Wii as second place out of the three main consoles, but you know, after this crap, it's official in my opinion. It's downgraded itself below the PS3. That's right. Below the PS3. The PS3 is actually having more exciting titles than the Wii is itself for me. And that's it. Goodbye. That's it for this rant. Just fuck you, Nintendo Wedgie. FUCK YOU!